I mean, you were helpless. There's, there's nothing you could do until the flood was over as far as, uh, you, you know what I mean, you'd risk arm and leg. Uh, anybody who was stuck in it was in big trouble. So, you, know, you know, as far as I was concerned, it just rained forever. It had been raining for like seven days and seven nights or something, you know. And like I say, they heard that it was getting worse and the water was rising. So we went down and basically we witnessed the devastation. Like I said, it was nothing we could do about anything. Uh, and the water just, it just kept rising. Uh, watch them come off there, the water was so severe and, and coming so fast that it would eventually take them right off their, right off their foundations. And the whole house would just float. So the first ones to go across were Third Street. They're, they're, foundations were right on the banks of the river to begin with. And they were big houses. They were three and four family houses with with big back porches, which they're, you know, uh, we watched we watched those one by one. They would come down. When they went up, they'd, they'd be a, like a full house floating. They'd go over the falls and then you'd see nothing but sticks flying and, you, you know, two by fours and pieces of houses. It just, my mother was crying and, you know, Trees would come down and slam against the church, and you know, but it, but miraculously, the church and the parish house next to it, they, they both stayed, and they were getting the brunt of it. They were, you know, it was amazing. Uh, it's uh, like a 1770 building, uh, but the whole valley, everybody, I, I I can't really speak for the valley, but everybody in Seymour, uh, everybody pitched in on it. There were two fire departments. They were the guys were down downtown every day for for months and months, cleaning out everything, stores, businesses, uh, whatever was left, you know. And we had boards going up the stairs, and uh, we'd fill up wheelbarrows with mud, push them up the boards, and I mean it would like 12 or 14 stairs, not three stairs, you know. It was filled with mud and, and debris. I mean, every time you stuck the shovel in, you, you might get a two by four, you might get, you know, a piece of tree, you might get something that washed out of the sports shop, or, you know, I mean, we found, we found fishing poles, uh, uh, sneakers, uh, uh, stuff that got washed out of businesses, uh, tires, different things. Uh, terrible devastation, the worst devastation I've seen in my life.